Festival, and you're here in the public art space at the Portland Building. Doing what? What's this project all about? Um, I'm participating in the Regional Arts and Culture Council Public Art Program, and this space is a temporary installation program. Each month, an artist rotates through. My actual project is. It has numerous levels and numerous interpretations, but it's really a metaphor to address the issue of how people seek security, whether the security is in a job or in a vocation or some such thing. Very simply, what I wanted to do was come to work each day and sit and crochet for eight hours and then leave. Okay, that sounds like fun. <laughs> And it was, it was done through, um, I had an experience in the corporate world where I had a corporate life and although I knew how to do my job, the office just always felt better if the office assistant was there because this woman could do things that I couldn't do. She knew where the toner was for the photocopy machine, she knew how to meter stamps and weigh them and get them out. Right. And I just thought, she's actually an incredibly valuable person just by being here. The first person we would all ask is, Oh, do, do you know where this is? Right. So she she just developed this um, depth within her role that actually made the office function better. Right. So I thought through this project I would try and recreate that feeling, that emotion in this building mm -hmm. and also address some other issues with job, job security. Right. And such. So, so what exactly is, is the overall purpose of what you're doing here? What do you expect to be the outcome of doing this project? The outcome is it's varied and it keeps growing. Um, and it's changed each week over the four week time span. I knew I would have a product. I knew I would have a rug. The rug is the metaphor for a security blanket that you get with a job. So I knew I would always have that. What has been um, incredibly positive and overwhelming in its response is the way people have responded to this and through this interaction have created a community around this installation. Hmm. For example, um, I have uh, a gentleman that brings me you know, hot coffee in the morning in the afternoon. <laughs> um, another gentleman came by and bought me uh, vegetables from his garden. Um, oh, that's really the boyfriend of one of the uh, girls that's involved in this, he bought me some flowers this right. morning. Is it, has there been any negative response to what you're doing here? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, when I first started, people thought I was just finishing a piece of art to hang on the wall because I just came with my chair and my spool and my crochet hook and I just sat in the middle. So for the first couple of days, everybody just thought, oh yeah, she's just finishing it, then she'll hang it up right. and life will go on. And I didn't, I just kept coming and I kept growing more squares. So then people started um, commenting in the book when I wasn't here in the comment book that um, how wasteful I am using new plastic, um, what a waste of time this project is, how meaningless this is. And it was interesting from the perspective that none of them ever bothered to inquire with me what was really going on. So what they did was they stood from a distance and judged, and they judged this to be brand new plastic, which they found to be unacceptable, and they commented accordingly. And the reality is the, the plastic is reclaimed. It was on its way to the landfill, mm -hmm. and I liberated it from its destination. Mm -hmm. so I thought I was actually doing something of um, within the ecological spirit, but right. I was actually judged very harshly here. So on the, that's on the product. On the actual metaphor and the concept, there are two camps. There are those that interact and understand and are actually growing with the project, but there are also some people that have been very vocal in uh, getting their opinions to me that they find that what I'm doing is offensive and it's insulting to them. Right. And from what I can assume or interpret from their comments is they think I'm making fun of them and their job by sitting here crocheting. Right. Okay, I can understand that. Now, one of the things that I was curious about, because I just found out about this artist space, is 
Who provides this artist space? How did this artist space come about? Do you have any idea? Um, I don't know the actual fine detail of it, but I know the program's been in existence for 12 years. Right. And okay. artists have been here doing this temporary installation program right. for at least 10 years. And do you have any idea how it's funded, where the money comes from for this? We, um, I think the Regional Arts and Culture Council is the major sponsor for it. And right. I'm, I'm assuming there's some relationship with the city um, and in, through this building. Okay. This used to have another life. This used to be a store or a Right, kiosk. okay. Now, I, from the, a newspaper article that I read about you, you seem to be a rather well-known artist. And I'm just wondering how on earth we oh, can really? afford you <laughs> here in Portland in this little community space. Can I be so rude as to ask you what you're making here? You get paid a stipend to do this, and the stipend is $750. $750, okay. And what else do you do then? Obviously, you don't oh, live I'm on... Oh, I'm not that well-known. <laughs> well, you don't live on $750 a month. I no, I actually, I actually live from my artwork, and I also don't make artwork that is commercial. I don't have gallery representation, and I don't, um, I don't really make work to sell, not in another form. You often meet artists that will say, you know, I've made a, um, an object from a craft tradition, like a, a glass vase or, so, or some object, and they will actually sell it. My work's not that, it's not suitable. I don't think it works well that way. The other work I do is sculpture, mm -hmm. and it's not the kind of work you would actually put in your living room. It's not an easy fit into right. some environments. So do you have another source of income then? No, no, it comes from my art life. But because I am a full-time artist, um, I spend time, I spend a lot of time searching and uh, receiving grant awards, funding. My projects will be sponsored um, either with in-kind contributions or um, right. some kind of donation. And, donation. And who are your sponsors? I mean, who are the um, people who sponsor you? The next big project I've got coming up will actually be back in Portland. I come back to mm -hmm. Portland in September of 2006. Um, part of the sponsorship for that includes um, web advertising for the um, event through one of the websites associated with one of the materials. I work in clay. Oh, okay. So um, the gentleman that runs, you know, one of the major websites in the clay world is going to sponsor a banner advert for me. So that's a form of sponsorship. Right. Um, I've just uh, enjoyed some equi equipment that was given to me on loan from a fiber optics company. Right. Because the work involves glass and fiber optics. Right. So you do get some commercial sponsorship. Yeah. And do you get grants from the government or uh, other? If, yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed, you never quite know. Right. Now, um, considering this is Portland, I'm going to address the issue yeah. right up front because yeah. you said nobody does. I'm going to address it right up front. This is, it's reclaimed plastic, yep. but it is new plastic. Why did you choose to use that as opposed to like recycled plastic bags? I mean, um, there's tons of those. Right, and I know, and actually I want to do a project with the classic recycled material, and I've already um, sent email to the Bureau of Sustainable Development. You've also come to look at the project. Mm -hmm. I didn't have time to um, organize that before this time slot became available. Right. It, it's not a, an ethic decision at all. It was more about timing. Um, the opportunity for this material to be part of it uh, worked better than actually trying to set up a program. Okay, fair enough. Cycle. That's fair enough. Yeah. Okay, the, the next question is what will happen to this after this is over? It has a whole other life. It's, it's already taking over. Um, what I've got here is just the basic format of the rug. It's 6 by 10 squares, so it will end up in and out um, 30 feet by 45 feet wow. in dimension. And I've just started making the border, so I'm actually going to pop the border and the fringe on it. So for finishing the project, I have a month. I'll put on the border and the fringe. But also, what will change is the relationship to it. At the moment it's in the installation and it's part of everything that's going on here but on Sunday it then becomes an object and I become an artist in my studio again and I will relate to it in a very different way. 
so I can do things to it that are outside the parameters of this project. Right. The result of that work will go into City Hall here in Portland on the 1st of December for First Thursday through the office of Commissioner Sam Adams. Right, so this will be in their, their in space. The, in their space. Yeah. Then what will happen to it afterward? It's still sorting itself out. Um, through this project I've been running a blog and I'm getting email, I'm receiving wonderful emails from um, people all over the world that have been following the project. So I don't quite know exactly what's going to happen next and it's the way I like it. Okay, that's fair enough. Now, you, uh, we looked at the promotion that you got uh, for this particular installation. It was quite big. It was a lot of promotion mm -hmm. as far as the amount of area. Were you happy with that? Or I did you feel that I that was, was well, did you feel that was justified for the level of this artwork as opposed to something that was like of a national concern or that oh, would interest more people? You know, I, did, I didn't even look at it in that context. I was so thrilled that... Um, People were interested, so I, I didn't have any expectation or um, you know predetermined plan. Quite the contrary, I actually thought I would come and sit here and crochet, and right. I nobody would interact. I thought I'd actually get a lot more work done. So right. to have the coverage, it's just been it's been wonderful. And what's better than the coverage is the fact that there's been some um, very interesting dialogue with everybody that's become involved, whether they're just visiting to sit on the chair or someone such as Joseph from the Tribune that just wrote an amazing article. Mm, right. um, it was a chance for me to get to know him and what he's doing as opposed to being a subject of something that he's doing for his job. Right. Now, Zan, I'm going to do the hard stuff now. I am, I am who I say I am, and I am from Portland Community Media. The thing that I didn't tell you is that one of my things is I'm not really impressed with art that is sponsored by public funds. I much prefer art that is done with commercial funding because to me, the purpose of public funds are not to be funneled in this direction, and that if art speaks to the soul of humanity, right. then people should fund it individually, rather than taking money from people who may or may not agree with your art, because um, you, like you said, there are a lot of people whose tax dollars paid for this who really don't agree with what you're doing. So therefore, for me, it's very important that people understand the difference between public money right. and money that is used to promote what your idea is. I think you have a perfect right to say what you're saying, to do the art that you're doing, to participate however you think is valuable to society, and to say the things that you're saying. I have no issues with that whatsoever. The only issue I have is with the fact that you're using public funds. Okay. Um, can I come? Can I reply? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm a new artist, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to to have this space to do this in this environment. Um, I have nothing but just wonderful things to say about RAC, uh, RACC that actually sponsored this, because without their help. Um, I wouldn't have got to this level. It, and it's not a commercial interest, it's actually from the integrity of my art to be put in this environment with this opportunity. Right. This, this artwork tests my integrity, this right. opportunity tests But that's not my issue. The issue is that I know where the money comes from for funding this, and the money comes from the city. The, right. the RACC administers the funds, but the funds are actually tax dollars. So what's... What is wrong with having art in a building like this? It's not art in the building. It's art funded by the public dollar. That's my exception to it. Okay, so what would you prefer for me to do? I would prefer that you do exactly what you said before that you were going to do and get commercial sponsorship, like with the clay, like with the other commercial sponsorships. These are people who have something to benefit directly, and they can support your art directly by giving you funds from their website, funds from their own pocket. They're making their own decision about their own money. Right. Whereas the public dollar, somebody took my money and gave it to you and didn't ask me. And that's the part that really is annoying to me 
as a taxpayer because whether I agree with your art or not is irrelevant, but I shouldn't have to pay for it if I don't. Whereas a commercial entity, they agree with your art, they're willing to fund it. They're willing to spend the money to make you an artist. So what's, what's your solution? My solution is for artists not to rely on the public dollar, not to say, take public money, not to take government grants, but to go to the commercial entities. And if the commercial entity can find a way that this is helping them, Fine, then you then get all the sponsorship you want. There's a, a gentleman in Australia named Ken Doan. He's a commercial artist, right? He gets his money from people who pay him for his art. So are you Are you for real? Yes, I'm very for real. I'm one of the people that has to pay for this. of the taxpayer's dollar, especially considering the kids were out of school last year for 15 days. Which to you is more important, this project or the kids being in school for 15 um, days? I, I don't look at it like that. I don't. Uh, first of all, I was invited, uh, which probably supports your point of view more than what I'm trying to say. I don't I don't look at it like that. I look at it as apples and oranges. You've got education issues, you've got art issues. I'm participating in a program that was decided by committee, by members of this building as well as the institution that sponsors this space. Um, I'm not involved on the political side of it. But you are because you're taking the tax dollars and that's the issue that I have with Would it. Would you like me to give them back? To be honest, yes, yeah. because if your art speaks to the soul of humanity, then humanity as individuals should sponsor it and not the taxpayer. You shouldn't be taking money from the taxpayer to do your art when the taxpayer has nothing and has no say in the matter. I didn't have any say in the tax dollars that were used by the city to pay for this installation. Right. Well, I'm sorry that... Um what I'm doing is upsetting to you, and well, what I'd like to do is like, can we stop this now? That's fine. I'm happy with that. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was not a sandbag. I'm very honest about what I'm doing. It was a complete sandbag. No, I'm sorry. It wasn't. Because we will use the footage. We will not cut it out. And we will not edit it to make you look anything other than you are. I can promise you that. I can promise you that on my word. I will not do that. <coughs> It will be right just like it is. You're going to insist on sandbagging. It is not sandbagging. It's stating my position as to what I think the tax dollars should be used for. And I asked you what you did, and I asked you your interpretation. I did not make interpretations about it. So I think in all honesty, this is not a sandbag. This is my ability as a person who pays taxes to address you as an artist and say, I'm not happy with what you're doing. Good. I Is that fair? Thank you. No, and I'd actually like to leave the space. All righty, thank you.